for this craft, you're going to need one of these signs, painted white. You're going to need letters um, uh, to spell out Christmas at the, and then your last name. A charger plate, I painted it red, it was gold. You're going to need a pool noodle, that needs to be painted white. You're going to need a dowel to put inside your pool noodle so that it can stand up straight. This adorable ornament that lights up. You turn the top and it changes different colors. And you're going to need some embellishments. So, oh, and ribbon. You're going to need ribbon. So, let's get started. I already painted my pool noodle so that it would be dry by now. And as you can hear, my pig is having issues as usual. Here is my pool noodle already painted. And I'm going to want to put it in the center of my charging plate. So I'm going to glue a lot of the hot glue on the bottom. This is Gorilla Glue for my glue gun. And then I'm going to hopefully put it right in the middle of the charger plate. This is going to take a little bit to adhere and I'm going to put some around the outside. You can use E6000 or anything you'd like and as you hear my pig is not happy. So right now I'm gluing the bottom of my lovely pool noodle. Now they do have pool noodles at the Dollar Tree right now. They come in red, green, and white. This one was black. It was left over from Christmas that I painted. And I'm going to take my ribbon And I believe I got this. I know I didn't get it at the Dollar Tree. I believe I got it at Joanne's Fabric or Walmart. So I'm going to start at the top. I'm going to move this down so you can see what I'm doing. I'm going to start at the top. And I'm going to take the red ribbon. and start gluing it on. So I'm going to put some hot glue on my ribbon and gently, try not to burn myself, put it on. And now I'm going to wrap it around my pole and gradually glue as I go so that my pole holds the ribbon. I'm going to change my camera angle so you can see what I'm doing. So right now I'm just working on, oh my goodness, I got it all twisted up, sorry, there we go, around the pole. And as I go, like I said, I'm going to add some glue, and this is Gorilla Hot Glue, because I thought you want your, you also want to make sure that it stays flat 
up against your pole also as you're doing it. So I'm going to continue wrapping around my pole and as I'm doing that I'm going to continue to glue where I'm at. Iggy, honey, do you want to go outside? Iggs, do you want to go outside? I don't know what your major malfunction is. It's a beautiful day. It's not raining. So that's a good thing. So you want to go all the way down to the bottom with your ribbon and then cut it at the bottom. Worst scissors ever that I just grabbed. Oh, uh, worst scissors ever. So now I'm going to glue onto the bottom my ribbon. Oh my goodness. So, here is what I have so far. Okay? Now, like I said, you want to paint this white and then you want to spell out with your letters Christmas at the, and then your last name. Right now I have that upstairs. So I want to explain to you how to use this. So you have, Iggy, stop. You have this blessing, autumn bless, harvest blessing that you painted white. And your letters that you painted white. The only thing that's red is the plate. So what I did was, our last name is Casparitas. It's very, very long. So I started with the K at this end, and I hot glued all the letters across. And then I worked from the bottom up. So I did our last name, and then at the, and then Christmas. So right now it's drying. And once I put the, what's the word I'm looking for? The glitter... Once I painted it and it dried, well, I glued it, that dried, and then I painted it, and right now the lettering with the glitter is drying. So you want to start at the bottom up, and there's 10 letters in our last name, so I put them side by side. Now I'm going to take this off, and hold on one second. Okay. Here's my sign. Like I said, you build from the bottom up. I had used some glitter on the entire thing. I used silver glitter and I believe it was like snow glitter. And I, on the bottom I used iridescent glitter and Epsom salt. It was a little top heavy so I put this in the middle to hold it upright and now I'm going to put a hole in my pole so I can stick this in there I'm thinking about here and I'm going to use my glue gun to make the hole. I'm going to turn the camera off while I do that so I don't bump the camera. So what I did was I took my hot glue gun and I put a hole in and I used scissors to put a hole through here and I put a hole on this side. So I'm going to put a bunch of hot glue in there 
and then put it through here. This is the finished product of my pole that I made and I'm going to turn out the light. For craft number two, you're going to need a plate from the Dollar Tree, one of their bags. I got this from the Dollar Tree. You want the clear plate, okay? This has buffalo check patterns on it. It's hard to glue down a circle. So what I did was every so many of the outside I cut just a little so that I can Mod Podge it onto the plate. So I'm trying to stay on the lines. So basically I just pretty much cut where I could, okay? Then I'm going to take the plate and it's upside down and I'm going to take the Mod Podge and I'm going to Mod Podge the plate. You want to put a generous amount on your plate. the entire plate is covered. So once your plate is covered with your Mod Podge, you want to take, which is the season, flip it upside down, Try to align it as straight as possible. And with these cuts in your bag, this helps to hold it down. So you're going to have to hold it for a couple seconds as you go around your plate. That noise you're hearing is my pig. He's sharpening his tusk because he wants food. Now if you see that it's not holding it down, you can add more Mod Podge. And so that's what it looks like right now. Now I'm going to get more of the Mod Podge. And I'm going to start on the ends. I'm not going to start in the middle like I did earlier. And I'm going to... This is going to be for decoration. You could, you know, since you're not using the other side, you could possibly use it. But I'm going to put this on my hutch near where people who used to be able to come over, except now we're in a pandemic, can't come over this year, but they, where they would get their food off my buffet and all. And as you can see, as I'm doing this, it is pushing down the paper also and that's what I want to happen so, turning the plate as I go and pushing it down now I'm going to do the middle now if you're going to use this just as display you could add a bow or whatever you think you need. Okay, I'm going to have to 
set this aside. I took the bows off the bag and I'm going to glue it to the top of my plate. And then I have these little balls in gold just to give it a little bit more definition. And I'm going to glue them on my plate. So this is what it looks like. And then I have another one. And I think I'm only going to add one of the little gold berries on there. So now I have two plates that are done that I can put near my buffet and they look charming and they're adorable. Thanks so much for watching. Have a blessed day and I hope to see you soon. Bye. And here's what the finished plates look like. Is that not the coolest thing ever? With the flashing light. I love it. That's from the Dollar Tree. And here it is in the dark. I love it. Piggy, Iggy, nails. Hi, baby. Hi. What are you doing? Hi, baby. I love you.